On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the roads are... Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path.
So, a Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Fools! Your shout will not harm us. Shout for us, Dragonborn. Shout at us, and let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is... The rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Use both Fus and Ro. 
all. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Attack! Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. 
Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Breath and focus.